and you have got them eyes, them pulsating eyes, like you're looking into my soul. Like you could, we could actually find out if Paul's Ghost has a soul. Wax on, wax off. And hello, and we're back again with comments below. I'm David Vujanic, and this is Poet, AKA Kyle, AKA Where's My Dad. You leave comments below. We pick the best five. One, two, three, four, five. And with them five comments, we analyze them on the show, we break them down, and we give you our opinion. But before you do comment, look, there's this button. I think it's here, or it's there, or it's somewhere around here. It's just everywhere in life. It says subscribe. I want you to subscribe. Um, these are some of the comments that uh, didn't quite make the grade, a bit like me in secondary school. The Mood Park has said, which I quite agree with The Mood Park, he oh. has said, fuck Alan Hansen and fuck Mark Lawrence. Get these man on MOTD. Thank you, Mood Park. Thank you for such a nice comment. And, yeah. and maybe you should just write to the BBC as well. Spencer CBA6 says, good on Paul Scholes for catering for his family. Seeing Paul Scholes doing a version of Ginger's Do Have Souls would make my life. It'll make my life too. Yeah. Could it be your next factor? Uh, without a character, I doubt no, it. No soul. Yeah, it's not mm. really interesting. Um, last one. Last one says, honestly, I couldn't give a shit about football. I just like Poet's face and Vajanic's voice. Kind of sexy. That is all. And why I think Aisha Peters is a beautiful person inside is because she speaks the truth. Are you agree? Mm, yeah. Why isn't my face sexy? Your face is, but just to a, a demographic which doesn't watch YouTube, um, the people that do probably appreciate me along the likes of Bob Marley and Thierry Henry and JLS and Obama. What? Whilst your harsh, quite pale complexion relates to the likes of Casper the Friendly Ghost, Per Mertesaka, Podolsky, Alan Shearer, the guy that fixed my roof the other day, and your jawline. It's a bit like Batman's brother that never quite made it to uh, that position of power. And you have got them eyes, them pulsating eyes, like you're looking into my soul. Like you could, we could actually find out if Paul's Ghost has a soul. What, what is this? All right, all right, all right, let's move on. Those are the, sort of the examples of uh, some of the comments we could have used. These are the five main topics. This one's about Vajanic. What a yeah. nice guy I have to my left. He says, why is this Polish guy trying to put on a British accent? Go fix a roof. Now, why are you not fixing a roof? I mean, I look quite like your stereotypical approach about me being Polish with a surname like Vianic, but why am I putting on a British accent? Because I've lived there 15 years. Also, go fix a roof. My dad is actually a builder. If you do need some services, I could get into contact with him. Next. Comments. Next question. All right, this one says, oh, you, you want to read it out? Sure. Uh, this is by Bola2340. Question for Poet. What's your view on Carl Jenkinson? Wow, it's a bit of a funny name, isn't it? Mm. And he's also got a second part to the question. This is a question for Vajanic as well. What's his view on Brendan Rodgers' weight of football? Well, what's my view on uh, Carl Jenkinson? At the carpet, AKA Emirates, AKA Arsenal, we like to call Jenkinson the robot because everything seems quite rigid and it's a bit like when Peter Crouch used to score back in the day. But I actually think he's a decent player. He's a right back that seems to be excelling. I remember last season he had some terrible moments. One, uh, where we ate to be an Arsenal fan. We lost 8-2 at Old Trafford, <laughs> or Cold Trafford, or Gold Trafford on that day. I didn't cry, but my eyes were quite watery. Cool. And then I went home and spent the whole day by myself. And since then, Cole Jenkinson has excelled to so you think in contention for England. He's a good player now. I think he's a decent player, definitely. My view on um, Brendan Rodgers... Well, I mean, to be honest with you, I've had an interesting theory put towards me by, by a friend, I can't remember who it was, and he said, Brendan Rodgers is a scam artist. Yeah, that was me. Was it you? Yeah, it's a scam artist. Absolutely, I totally but agree with that. In what sense? In a sense that I don't feel the philosophy that he's implementing is totally his. No, it wasn't you that said this. Basically, this person said to me that Brendan Rodgers took over Swansea. And who was there uh, before? Before, literally after Martin Martinez was doing quite well with them. And he'd done everything And really. it was actually Martinez's players, Martinez's yeah, style me. of football. It was me. You told me this. Yeah, I'm 100%. pretty sure it was on the me. phone. Hundred percent. No, it was not. But you, continue. No way. Poet or whoever told me this, um, basically said that it's not his club and his success is basically due to Martinez. Hundred percent. And him doing badly at Liverpool at the beginning right now, and it's kind of continuing to go badly, worst start in over a hundred years, is because he isn't actually that good. He but put, personally. Yeah. I quite like him because he's took out Downing from the squad. He's took out Henderson. He's giving the youngsters a chance. He's put mm -hmm. Sterling in. Yeah. He's giving you know, the Susos a go. Yeah, he's so given the, the, the Wisdoms. Wisdom played well. Which is good. Yeah, Just and like I think I'm quite happy with that sense, that sense, but with the results, I'm not happy. All right, um, we've got the next question. It says, can you talk about the great new evolution of football technique <laughs> over mindless brute force, AKA Stoke City, that is happening to the Prem with the likes of Sterling, uh, Neesden, North Wheezy lad. I wonder where he's from. Sousa, Santi Cafola, AKA 
Carpet Fowler. It's Carthola, not Cazola for those that yeah. call him Cazola. They also said Arteta, Hazard, Mata, Silva, um, Barry Bannon. Barry Bannon? You know, you Who? know them, them technically gifted players, you Who's know? Who's Barry Bannon? I don't know. He sounds like a bin man or something. <laughs> No, Barry Bannon. He plays for Aston Villa, and obviously they're a fantastic. They're club. doing great. Oh man, you guys are doing amazing. I mean, you should be really proud of yourselves. Yeah, I you mean. might just join Birmingham in the Championship next season. Who and knows? to be honest, I don't really care. I think it's fantastic that now the the English league is, you know, relying on technique, and uh, the beautiful game is definitely being implemented, which has been implemented at the carpet for many years, aka Emirates, and before that, Highbury. On to our next comments. Oh, God. Comment, comments. Um, I mean, in the last video, we've had a few comparisons on who Poet looks like. Mr. GND1, who said Poet looks like Javinho. And I, I, I think he's correct. And do you know what I don't? There's many reasons why. Uh, Javinho uh, isn't really pleasant to look at, he is he? He isn't. He's quite harsh in the Which eye. Which is why I'm quite happy that she's, she's compared him to you. We've had one that said, Poet looks like Pusha T. Pusha T is a rapper, a very good one. And then another person said, you look like ASAP Rocky, who is another rapper. So a lot of comparisons on what and who you look like. Maybe you should tell me who Vajanic looks like. Yeah, leave some who comments does he below. Look like? Who do I look like? A ghost? Kaspar? Djokovic? Djokovic, apparently. A person that... I don't know, fixes your roof, whatever you feel, <laughs> right here. Yeah, leave a leave, comment, leave a comment. So so what do I look like? Uh, but also uh, on the topic of Javino, Miss, Miss Yam Yam 29 has said, Javino's head looks like a bellend with braids. Now I'm vexed because that means my head looks like a bellend with braids and I'm wearing a hat. Okay, the final comment, quite interesting. Uh, last week we made some comments about uh, Chelsea being a bit like Jeremy Carl. So there's more things happening off the field within the studio than actually on the field on the grass, unlike mm. the carpet where it's fantastic, AKA Emirates. <laughs> Walid Adou, or Dai, has said this, he mm. said, the only reason we seem to have more off the field antics is because fucking journos make such a big fuss about it in the media. They'd rather talk about JT and Ash's bullshit than Hazard and Matt's genius on the pitch. Hashtag fuck the system. Agree? Agree? Um, yes and no. Yes to the simple fact that Chelsea are top of the league. Yeah. Undefeated in the Prem, uh, doing well in the Champions League. And uh, instead of us glorifying some of the signings like Oscar and Mata and like he said, Hazard, we're here talking about an individual called John Terry. Uh, and Ashley Cole. But the most important thing is, Ash and Terry are legends there at Chelsea. They're meant to lead by example. Hmm. So therefore, if the people that are meant to be setting an example or setting one that's quite bad, what do you expect us to talk about, mate? Yeah. But, 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 like but they news. are geniuses though, let's put it that way. Hazard and Mata are great players. Hazard played really well Fantastic. against Serbia. He scored a goal, I think. Really good on the counter at Belgium. Yeah. Well, Serbia lost 3-0, I wasn't very happy. But the good thing is, Matt is a genius, according to this individual here, so I think that's what we should focus and on. And also, another good thing would be if you left some comments below about everything and anything, football would be very good. All right, everyone, um, we're just going to wave now and say goodbye and thank you for watching if you've watched this long. Um, and when you turn it off, make sure you are subscribing and leaving comments, and then your life continues. It does continue, hopefully. Until next week. Unless you die. Wow, that's really harsh. Sorry. Oh, also, I don't know. Uh, um, well, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Can we have a glass of water, please? <laughs> and welcome back to comments below, where we take the latest footballing.